The Lord of the Rings trilogy is great. I loved every single one of those movies. The characters and the set pieces were really good. But what drove me the most out of those movies were the huge scaled battles. So, naturally, when I was still a kid in 2006 and I heard of a Lord of the Rings video game where you take control of huge armies against others, I was hooked for the journey. Welcome! In this short video, I will briefly discuss to you Battle from Middle Earth 2, an almost perfect game. Battle for Middle-earth 2 is a real-time strategy game set upon the events of The Lord of the Rings. It was released for Xbox and PC in 2006, along with an expansion pack later, The Rise of the Witch King. What was perhaps the most played feature in the game was the skirmish mode, where you play against a custom amount of AI armies in real-time combat. You can choose your faction, as well as your color, your custom hero, your team, and your handicap setting. The same is done for AI players. The playable factions included are as follows. Men of the West, Elves, Dwarves, Isengard, Mordor, and Goblins. The Rise of the Witch King expansion adds a new faction, Angmar. It's basically everything a really good RTS game has to offer, but with the Lord of the Rings painted all over it. You can have multiple armies fighting each other, as blades clutch in every single area of the map. Whether you are elves, dwarves or goblins, huge scaled battles can be portrayed anywhere and it doesn't have to be canon to the universe it takes place. You can construct eco buildings, military buildings, research buildings and create huge armies. The goal is simple, kill the enemies. Some maps are specifically made for specific type of game, like free for all or 2v2, 3v3 and 4v4. You even have siege maps like Hems Deep or Minas Tirith. One secret feature this game mode has to offer are the ring heroes. During battles, Gollum can appear anywhere on the map. Killing him grants you the one ring, which you have to take back to your fortress after that, you'll have access to your ring hero for 10,000 resources. If you are controlling either Men of the West, Elves or Dwarves, you can have Galadriel. But, if you are either Isengard, Mordor or Goblins, or Engmar, you can have instead Sauron. If the ring hero is defeated in combat, the One Ring will reappear and now the enemy has a chance to have his own ring hero if he can grab the one before you do. So, you have huge armies fighting against each other, and you have full control of the presets of your game. What can be possibly any better? Well, there is one game mode that I would like to talk about. A game mode that is, I think, highly disregarded today. War of the Ring is a turn-based strategy game mode that is played across all of the Middle-earth's territories. In this game mode, there is more strategic depth than in Skirmish, for each territory has its own bonuses, and heroes and armies must be managed across the entire map, as must the player's source of income. Each turn is based of three phases. The tactical phase, during which all factions plan their moves and constructions. The battle phase, during which any enemies that have ended up in the same territory battle each other, either with auto-resolve or with real-time, which takes the player into a skirmish game. And the retreat phase, during which any conquered host retreats back into a certain territory of theirs. I very like this game mode, it's basically a Total War game, but with Lord of the Rings. Yes, I know there is a mod for Medieval 2 Total War, but I'm talking about an actual video game. 
This is the closest we've got still to this day. Each turn there is a sense of dread because you never know in advance what your opponent will do. You do know what your allies plan to do, so you can attack one territory with full force, for example. You'll never know the feeling of pure satisfaction when you finally conquered one of your enemy out of the game. So, basically, if you want to chill a bit with the skirmish game mode but with a twist, try World of the Ring. And again, this doesn't have to be canon to the movies. You can set up your game so that the elves and are against the dwarves and each of them try to conquer the entire map, for example. So overall, I would say this game still holds up to this day. I haven't talked about it all though, since there is campaigns as well as custom hero setting. But the best way to experience all that game has to offer is by playing it yourself. Since the game is no longer available, you can download it technically for free. The process of getting it to work isn't that difficult if you know your way around with PC stuff. And with all that, Battle for Middle-earth 2 is, still to this day, the best Lord of the Rings RTS available. Thanks for watching.